here we are. Okay, today we are going to do three different kinds of sausage. Um, we've got Chris Rosemeyer. Come in here, Chris. Welcome to Pixical Barbecue. Hi. <laughs> so Chris is going to help us do some cutting on, on the different meats. We got chuck roll. We also have pork shoulder. So typically we're going to use a mix of about 75, 25. 75% uh, beef, 25% pork. The Italian uh, sausage that we make will be 100% pork. So let's get at her. I've uh, been waiting for this for a while. We are completely out of sausage. So here we've got the cracked pepper and garlic summer sausage. Then we have American garlic. And then we are gonna do Italian, not the North American Italian sausage. Uh, so it's quite different than uh, than the Italian sausage just by here in Canada or the US. We are gonna cube the meat, spice it all up, and let it sit in the fridge overnight. Tomorrow we will grind and stuff, and then the third day we will smoke it. Okay, so here we have our chuck roll. Uh, that one you can see. Uh, you guys have seen me do videos on this before uh, where we cook the whole thing. Uh, this time we are just going to dice it up and season it. up the chuck roll. Um, that camera over there can see what I'm gonna do is for the American garlic that we're making I'm gonna actually add some more garlic to it. We'll uh, clean this up, grind it uh, up with the meat. So you want them, I want it probably about uh, half inch. Half inch cubes? Half inch cubes. So they're not very big. Um, the garlic is actual good garlic. Uh, the flavor is unbelievable. Um, we've made some baked garlic with it and uh, just a world of difference from uh, the stuff that you buy in the stores here. We made uh, roasted garlic. I don't know, we've done 10 bulbs up oh. so far. Oh my goodness, it's just it's such a different flavor as to what we're used to. I forget what it is, it's something different, but. Uh, this is growing right here. Right here in good old Saskatchewan. Well, just outside Yorkton, that's for sure, here somewhere. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll get the name and we'll put that down below. See, it's a good thing Chris is on holidays this week. He didn't think that he was going to have to work today. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but I bribed him with some butter tarts. Yep. <laughs> and don't forget the coffee. Oh, and coffee, yes. But he only had one butter tart. So far. For the American garlic, I'm gonna actually add some more garlic. We'll uh, clean this up, grind it uh, up with the meat. right yep you got 18 pounds in there so now we just need to add the pork to that before the American garlic okay. so I need uh, so I would need uh, a seven and a half plus three would be ten and a half just shy of five and what did I say I needed Ten and a half? Ten and a half. So that gives us nine and a half, right? Yep. And I need one pound. Yep. Way more than one pound. But... And these are boneless. Oh, that's much easier to work yeah. with. 
And I'll show you, we'll cut in, we'll pull one out, and I'll show you why. Now, well, typically for competitions and everything, that's all that I have this oh, for. Okay, so the reason why I like boneless is because they go through the work and pull the bone out already. Right. In a barbecue competition or barbecue in a smoker, when you're smoking, they say, who cares? Because all they do is they take that bone and they give it a wiggle, and if the bone pulls out, it's, good. it's done. But what I like about it is they've already taken the blade bone out. Oh, nice. So this is the way it comes. Okay. Now, what I'm able to do, though, is now I can get my rub in here, on there, and then when I'm putting the mop on it, it gets everywhere. So oh, now okay. you've got more places that are going to have the rub and, and the sauce and everything else on it. More flavor. More surface area for your spices to... Exactly. So what we have is that is what they call the money muscle. So when you're doing a turn-in box at a competition, right. to make it look real pretty and real fancy, what some people will do instead of just always turning in shredded meat, they'll do the shredded meat plus they'll do these this money muscle. So here I've cut through it, but here you can see it some more. And you, you'll get that fat there that you can, if you do it nice and gently, you can pull that out. Now you let that cool down enough, now you can slice it. So you'll have all the shredded stuff, and then at the bottom you'll put in like eight or ten uh, links that you've cut and make like little medallions. The only problem that you get with that is now you've turned in two pieces of meat. Oh, okay, so now you may have this piece of meat up here is very flavorful, everything like that. The money muscle may not have got enough flavor to it, um, and now they're forced, the judges are forced because it's two separate things. One shredded, one's medallions. So they've got to taste both, and now they've got to score you on both. So if the money muscle doesn't have much flavor to it, uh, now that just brought your score down a little bit. But if you've nailed them both, whew, it pays yeah. off. I will season all the chunks and let it sit overnight. Then tomorrow is when I will grind. And the meat will already be seasoned. The grinding will help mix that as well. You know, that's just kind of the way I do it. Other people grind it all into hamburger and do the mix, mix, mix uh, that way. Way quicker when Chris was here helping me. So we'll have to hijack him again next time. Okay, so now we've got all the meat cut. I have 25 pounds of meat here in this tub. This is gonna be made the American garlic. Uh, plus, we are going to add our extra garlic. So what we'll do is we will take this garlic and we will grind it up so there's nothing left and mix it in. Heavy, heavy garlic. Mm. Okay, so you got pork, beef, garlic. Ooh, you got lots of garlic. Mit the garlic or without? Is that garlic in that package? No, it's all in here. This is the cure. A little bit of salt, Peter never did nobody any. Yeah, yeah. she just doesn't. Yeah. yeah, we will add some water. You can detect when you ground it out. Oh. Okay. Did you bring your gloves? Did you want to play no, in here too? No. Okay, so now that we've got this all mixed up for tonight, this will be good. It's all mixed up, ready to go. We will just put uh, some saran wrap over it. Then we can go to our last mix. So here we're making our Italian sausage. 
Here we've got our fennel seed in our mortar and pestle. I'm just going to grind it up a bit just to break the seeds, get a little bit more of the oils out, flavoring in there. And a bigger mortar and pestle. Italian sausage here in North America is not sausage that Italians eat. How do you know that? Because I've been to Italy the odd time. Italian sausage is pork. So we got diced up pork. I need some white pepper. We need some chili flakes. Uh, how about some paprika? Tomorrow we'll grind and then uh, put it in the sausage casings. Then we'll let it sit again overnight.